trying because she was like, okay, you got $900 a month and you got, you know, 50 k a year because that's what he was offering. That's true. That's true. And I was like, like, wow, like, I can't believe, like, I could make that much doing what I, you know, love. You know, I, right. I, I love being worship. I really do. Mm. But that's not, like, that's not my heart. Like, my yeah. heart is seeing people to know Jesus. Yeah. And that's my overall goal in life because, like, straight up, one honest with you, you know, there's people going to hell every day, mm-hmm. you know, and it's sad. Yeah. It really is sad. And, like, why we am is we don't want that. You know, uh, my pastor said this uh, the other week in one of his sermons. Um, he was talking about, you know, just living your life accordingly, right? And uh, he said that he had a pastor friend that he spoke to that was in another part of the country, told him this sad story. Uh, somebody in his congregation came up to him and he said, hey man, like, you know, I believe in Jesus, but I've never done anything. You know, I tithe and, you know, I go to church every week. Am I going to hell? And he said, uh, the pastor said, no, but somebody is. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And that was one of the things, like, that hit me in a different way. Yeah. Because, it, you know, you, you think about, you, if you are a Christian or if you call yourself a Christian and you measure your life and you, you talk about, like, yeah, I do believe in Jesus, so I guess I'm going to heaven. Like, that's a prerequisite. That could very well be the case. You know, like, you could, you could maybe, you know, lead uh, some of your family members to Jesus and stuff like that and you kind of call it a day. Yeah. But if you aren't using what you have to further the kingdom in a positive way, there will be somebody mm-hmm. that that could have been affected by you in that in a positive way like that, but they won't. And you'll never know. Yeah. Like you'll never know that. But I mean, you could be able to sleep with that. Like yeah. that's I think that I think that that message that that mission is not emphasized in our church enough. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, you know, talking about any particular um, pastor or congregation. I think it's the American church all over. And it's, it's, we've tied this, uh, this message for living a life of comfort Mm -hmm. instead of living a life for Christ. Right. And unfortunately that's, that's the American dream. Yeah. I was talking about that with my cousin the other day. I was even asking him, I was like, do you think the American dream pulls us away from, from God? And he has this like a hundred percent because, uh, you know, on paper, what you're supposed to do instead of doing this, you're supposed to go to college and get a degree. You're supposed to get a job in that degree. Then when you pay off your student debt and when you buy a nice house and a nice car, and then you have a family, what you do then is that you go to church yeah. on Sundays yeah. and that's it. Right. Yeah. I think, and I think that there's going to start to be a shift because I think with the chaos in our country too, what we're dealing with nowadays, there's a lot of polarizing situations. People are going to start making efforts to cut through the bull crap essentially. And they're going to start seeing real people living in a convicted way and they're not going to be so judgmental about it because all of a sudden the American dream isn't actually what it's chopped up to be. Right. Right. Yeah. So uh, along with that, what, what places have you guys gone to and, or like travel 